What is going on warriors and farmers of Tamaris? I am back again with another warped video. Today we're gonna take a look at the venomous lizard, aka the best warped for infantry in large scale fights. If you are still new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content, turn on the bell notification and never miss out. Like the video, share it with your friends, leave some comments down below. Let's get started. Alright, Warriors of Tamaris, the Venomous Lizard is one of the best warpeds for infantry for the open fields. Before we get started, let us clear a few things out of the way. Now, which pet should you use? Should you go with the Venomous Lizard or the Bruin Bear? First of all, let's see what the Venomous Lizard can do for you on the field. It says 12% chance to inflict poison on an attacker for 3 seconds when your legion is hit by a normal attack. This is the damage factor, it depends on your agility. This pet is going to trigger right away at the beginning of the fight, which is awesome, especially when you are targeted by more than 50 people. This is the way to go. On the other hand, the Bruin Bear is excellent for garrisoning a pass, protecting your city, or rallying somebody. This pet is going to take time to trigger. And you know, in large scale fight, you're targeted by over 50 people. By the time you trigger this skill, after your deputy cast a rage skill, your infantry will already be maybe at 30% HP left. So this pet is not going to do a lot of damage due to this reason. It's going to be excellent if you're fighting just a few people and you can get close to them, then this pet is fantastic. Otherwise, you should use the Venomous Lizard that's going to trigger right away. Especially when more than 50 people are hitting your infantry, you're going to get some good value. Before we get on to the pet build, let us clear another thing out of the way, which is very, very important. Now, this is something you should consider for the future before you build your Venomous Lizard. The Venomous Lizard is one of those pets that has a trigger chance to operate. It has a 12% trigger chance. And then we have the Night Rock, which has a 30% trigger chance. And we have the Snow Peak Rock that has um, a 30% trigger chance as well. These pets are going to suffer in the future. It is because of this one skill that we have in the game right now. A lot of people are not using it yet, but I'm pretty sure in the future, people are going to start using this pet. Now, what is this pet going to do? This pet skill, what is it going to do? It says 25% chance to inflict pet deficiency on target legion every second. Pet deficiency, war pet skill trigger chance minus 10.25%. For four seconds now if someone hits you with this skill and you have a snow pick rock it has a 30 percent trigger chance this thing is minus 10 percent your 30 percent goes all the way to 20 percent chance to trigger which is just disgusting so when we check out the venomous lizard it has a 12 percent trigger chance let's see what um an interruption can do with some kind of low Attribute, so this one, pet deficiency, war pet skill trigger chance, minus 8.23% for 4 seconds, which is crazy. Your 12% chance is going to go to, let me see, 4% because of this pet skill. So you need to prepare for the future, which is why when you are building your venomous lizard, you should have one skill slot that you're going to swap out in the future. Because right now, not a lot of people are using this skill, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a common thing and your Venomous Lizard is going to suffer. Now, why do I say you need to save one skill slot that you can change for the future? It is because there is a counter skill for this interruption. We have two in the game. Let's see which ones they are. We have what we call the Determined Heart right here. So this one has a war pet skill shield effect plus 25.61%. It is going to shield your infection from this vulture right here. This is one of the skills you can put on your pet in the future if this interruption starts becoming a problem. The second one that you can use, another one you can try is known as the Dauntless. War pet skill shield effect plus 23%. Again, this one is going to protect you from... This vulture right here, interruption. So you gotta be careful. There is no need to use both Dauntless and what is it? Determined Heart. You just need to pick one, depending on the attributes that you have left. I think the Dauntless is the one that's gonna work because 
physical pets don't have a lot of intelligent skills so this is what i would consider putting in the pet for the future now with that out of the way let us see how we can build the venomous lizard to get some good value okay warriors of tamaris this is going to be the first build for the venomous lizard what you see on the screen is what i am using right now what is good about this pet skill it has a lot of crit rate to crit the counter attack of the legion we know Skogul can do a double counter attack when she does her rage skill so you're gonna have a few more chances to get some counter attack crit rate now the counter attack crit rates are not going to be a lot which is why i'm considering changing the build for this pet we also have this skill right here known as swift revenge Crit damage plus 3% when Legion deals physical counter attack damage. So we have a hit back and we have a blood for blood that is triggering some counter attack for the Legion. Now this is one of the ways you can build this pet. To build this pet, there are two skills that you need to have with you at all times. You're gonna need to have the counter strike and the wild counter strike. The counter strike is gonna be very very good for Goresh because it's going to trigger the Goresh third skill the one that lets him do extra damage to nearby legions so this is a must have on your pet what are other good skills that we have here we have the forceful infection now this is something i'm considering changing instead of using just the forceful in infection i could use a tooth and claw it is cheap it does the same thing but it's even better because the truth tooth and claw is going to boost the infection is going to boost the wild counter strike as well. Now imagine 50 targets hitting you at the same time. You're going to be triggering so many wild counter strikes. And when you have a tooth and claw, you can boost that damage as well. You can boost your infection at the same time. So this is one of the builds that I would use for this pet. Now there is a skill here that you can add as well. The three star version for the infection. What is it called? It's called the Super Infection. You get it at the end of the season. Infection trigger chance plus 4.95%. This is based off of my attribute. So that's going to go here and boost this to maybe 17% trigger chance, which is a good thing. But remember, guys, if another Vulture hits you with an interruption, minus 8.23%, your 17% trigger chance is going to go to 9% trigger chance. Someone has this, which is why you need to protect yourself with something like a determined heart. Just be on the lookout. In the future, this thing is going to be common. Interruption. It's going to be a common skill pretty soon. This is what I am using for my pet right now, and I'm going to change it. Let's take a look at the next build that you can do for the Venomous Lizard. This one is boosting both the hero and the pet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to boost the pet only, which is what I am going to try and do. It's because the crit rates, they don't happen a lot. So I'm going to get rid of these three crit skills and then put things that are going to boost the pet. Let's see how we're going to do that. I'm going to be putting a tough counter strike. What does a tough counter strike do? It says 100% chance to gain one stack of tough pet when casting counter strike. Tough pet, war pet skill damage taken minus this amount. Let's see what a two star tough counter strike can do for you. It is 3,700 exchange coins, which you can afford. So any war pet skill that hits you, it's going to be reduced by minus 2.57%. Now imagine 50 ranged units hitting you with all those crazy pet skills. You're going to be reducing the damage a lot with the tough counter strike. So we're going to put a tough counter strike on this pet. We're going to buy and learn and put it over here. I'm switching this agility skill to put this tough counter strike. So this is the pet build that I'm going to be using in the future. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a crit rate for this pet. I'm going to add a crit rate that's going to crit this infection and it's going to crit this wild counter strike as well. I have one right here. I bought it from the merit shop, Angry Roar. If you don't want to use Angry Roar, you can go with this one right here, Blood for Blood. I'm not sure if you're going to have enough room to use both. So you might want to be careful because in the future, you might have to 
eliminate one of your crit rate skills and i don't know which one you're gonna get rid of if you happen to buy let's see a two star blood raw and then you want to get rid of it in the future it's gonna be difficult for you to do that so you need to be careful with the blood raw for now i would suggest maybe using a one star version because you might end up changing it and then later on if you have decided that you're gonna keep this skill 100 percent you can then go for the two star version so right now we're gonna put this angry raw we're gonna replace something i was saving it for my syndrome to take the angry raw to two star but i think i'm gonna get more value here so we're gonna learn we're gonna get rid of this crit more crit damage because the pet the 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 legion don't do a lot of crits so we're gonna replace it and put this crit rate for the pet instead this one is gonna boost the crit damage for my legion counter attack so we're gonna switch it with this i hit confirm the build is now going okay so this is what i have for the pet now the next thing i can put here is you know the end of season skill for the pet what is it called the super infection unfortunately i don't have it i could also put the fatal bite fatal bite i can put fatal bite here but i don't have it now i'm gonna keep an eye out in the future because of uh this vulture skill right here interruption i'm gonna need is it not this one i'm gonna need a dauntless for the future this might go here and replace this skill right here I'm still deciding whether to get rid of this fossil infection and then put a two star tooth and claw. This tooth and claw is going to boost wild counter strike and it's going to boost infection. Now you can have both. You can have both tooth and claw and then this skill at the same time. Just figure out which one of these skills you want to take out. So if you're building your pet, you could try something that looks like this. Now I still have this crit rate thing here. It's very low. Even a two star version, I feel like it's very low. This is the skill that I'm going to change. There are many options to put over here. You have tooth and claw. You have the dauntless. You have, um, you can put another blood raw if you want. You can put the end of season rewards. You can put the fatal bite as well. This is the one spot that I'm going to change. Now I'm going to regenerate this pet and try and get one more skill slot to give me more options to have on the pet. So that's going to be the plan for the future. Overall, this is what my pet looks like right now. I'm considering changing this with the tooth and claw. We will see how it goes. When I get another slot open here, I'm going to put dauntless, especially when people start using interruption. That's what I'm going to do for this pet. All right, Warriors of Tamaris, this is how I would build my Venomous Lizard in the game. Now, let's say you are someone who only has six skill slots. You try to regenerate and you cannot get any more. How should you build your Venomous Lizard? Well, these are the skills that I recommend you put on the pet. You have your Infection, which is one. You have Counter-Strike, which is two. You have Wild Counter-Strike, which is three. You have Angry Roar, which is four. If you don't want to use Angry Roar, you can use the Blood Roar instead. So this skill number four, you still have two skill slots left. Now you can put a Fatal Bite if you have it from the end of the season. If you can get this, this would be number five. And then number six would be your Super Infection. So this is a good build for six skill slots, that's gonna give you some good value. When you get more spaces, you can add some stuff like, you know, the forceful infection, you could maybe not use forceful infection and go with the tooth and claw instead. That's for later on. And then you should try consider saving one spot for a determined heart or something like a dauntless, because many people in the future will soon start in start using interruption these are just the things to keep in mind 
Thank you guys for watching the video. If you're new, subscribe for more content. Like this is just the build that I'm going to use. I recommend you check out other YouTubers as well. They might have some good build for the Venomous Lizard. You can also check out the Call of Dragons Warped section. A lot of people post some good builds over there. You could find something nice. But overall, this is what I would use right now for my pet. I'm still going to be making some changes on the forceful infection and the hit back. Not sure what I'm going to put yet. I am leaving this pet flexible to see what I need for the future. As of right now, I have the five skills that I need. Infection, Wild Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike, Agility. This one is also a good one. So that's it for the video, guys. If you're new, subscribe for more content. Until then, see you guys in the next pet video. Bye-bye for now.